Ladies and gentlemen, this is purely speculation. I don't have any evidence, nor am I saying categorically that James O'Keefe will come out with a, like, absolutely will come out with a video of Ron DeSantis insiders talking about working with the Lincoln Project or Never Trumpers or other Never Trumpers. I don't think it's likely to happen. I'm simply speculating now about something that could take place. So I'm allowed to just speculate and look into the future and say, well, if Ron DeSantis decides to run, if he tries to in some way join, uh, you know, form an alliance or a detente with never Trump factions within the Republican Party, very likely James O'Keefe will have a video showing this type of interaction. The reason people vote for DeSantis is that he's like Trump, not because he's unlike Trump. The actual authoritarians call DeSantis and Trump an authoritarian. The people who demand that you listen to them or else lose your job and you can just, even a joke, comedians can't make jokes anymore. So so you have a situation where you they're, they're called authoritarians, Trump and DeSantis, because they actually stand up to authoritarians. I like Ron DeSantis. I think he's fantastic. I think eventually he'll be Trump's vice president. However, if you have an interaction, I'm purely speculating and just looking into the future and, you know, imagining what could possibly take place. I don't have any evidence. I'm not stating categorically it's going to happen. I use the word if within the headline. If DeSantis does... 30 National Review articles and he gets favorable coverage from the New York Times and Washington Post and um, the ne- the Lincoln Project or some other Never Trump organization it's like, ah, well, DeSantis ain't that bad. Before that happens, there's probably going to be James O'Keefe would probably have a video or I should say if DeSantis ever thought about going the Mitch McConnell or Paul Ryan or Mitt Romney route where he's looked at as a foil and as an alternative to Trump, who is, I guess, better in terms of a media presence, less abrasive. I don't know, like, the reason that never Trumpers dislike Trump is not because of his policies, it's because of his personality, but a big part of his personality is the media, the apoplectic hysterical reaction from media so you're probably gonna see and if you've lasted this long (laughs) you're probably going to see a video released by descent by um james o'keefe because he apparently has insiders according to james o'keefe even in uh new york pertaining to trump and the grand jury and the arrest that was a spectacular fit, sp- spectacularly failed attempt at arresting a former president for something that wasn't a crime by Democrats. You'll probably get a video by James O'Keefe. You'll probably get evidence that DeSantis was working with never Trump Republicans and that alone would completely tank his campaign. Again, because... If he tries to make some kind of, if he tries to give some kind of olive branch to all of peop, all the people within the Republican Party who despise Trump, that's gonna that would ruin his his campaign in twenty four if he decides to run. He's basically dropped out already, and I explained that. Okay, he doesn't have DeSantis doesn't have a campaign for twenty four. He already it already imploded last week when he banked on Trump getting arrested. Hit subscribe to this channel, ladies and gentlemen. If you if you follow my thought process, and, and that's not for everybody, but we have 204,000 subscribers. It's because of you. Go to hagoodman.com to read my writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, and other publications. 
become part of a newsletter there. Also, to my new Patreons, thank you. I can't do this, you know, in the manner that I want without you. So your Patreon support is so greatly appreciated. And the super thanks is below next to the like and the share buttons. I can imagine James O'Keefe releasing releasing a DeSantis video that implodes a possible campaign based on trying to trying to trying to show the world that he is Trump but without the abrasive uh, personality that won't work because part of going up against a very corrupt system is the abrasive personality you do need that see the way president obama worked is that there was not a peaceful like there wasn't a peaceful transition of power democratic you know in 2016 president obama didn't peacefully hand over the white house to trump president obama was very instrumental in james comey james, well the honorable james comey who knows maybe he wasn't as uh no he worked for president obama so but james clapper we know the odni chief and john brennan we know the uh, central intelligence chief the director of the federal bureau of investigation the honorable james comey they all worked for president obama these are all intel chiefs within a Democratic Party administration. They, President Obama has a fantastic personality, and he's somebody that is just, you know, media loves him, and he's fant- he has a fantastic, uh, he's fantastic on the campaign trail, and he's wonderful and eloquent in speeches, and he's a very polished and presidential individual. But he tried to destroy Trump. Democrats do that all the time. Biden, um, Hillary Clinton, and Bill Clinton threw a public relations apparatus with a steel dossier that they purchased they got fines with. They got fines from. They, they, they destroy using bureaucracy, intel, intel agencies, false allegations, investigations. And then they cover up the actual crimes that they've committed by accusing others of crimes that they haven't committed. I'll take Trump's, you know, belligerent or abrasive personality that, by the way, DeSantis could be trying to, you know, remove himself from in order to start a campaign. I'll take Trump over the actual authoritarians who have a public relations monstrosity like Biden, um creating the image that they're such good people. The morally superior liberal Democrats, they're wonderful people. They have a consensus, a wonderful consensus of experts. And if you don't listen to them, you can't work, you can't have a coffee, you can't do anything in life, you make a joke, that's it, you're going to be fired, that's it. And But these are not the authoritarians. Trump is the authoritarian because he actually, uh, Abraham Accords, uh, Doha agreement that got Americans out of the never-ending war that Biden got them into. Um, and it happened under Biden, but reluctantly, and it was completely botched and a fail, like, somewhat failed. Well, no, failed withdra- withdrawal. I mean, those 13 Americans should be alive today. There's over 100 Afghans should be alive. Biden literally worked, literally, with our mortal adversaries and enemies. Okay, that wasn't part of the Doha agreement. But anyway, it was it called for a May 1st, 2021 withdrawal. May 1st. He went past May 1st. Okay, it was in the summer. And or like, you know, August, July, August. And it was a May 1st, 2021 withdrawal. But anyway, so when you have like complete morons, so well, you know, Biden brought home. No, he didn't. Biden wouldn't have done so had he not been forced to because Trump, the, the monster, totalitarian, despot, authoritarian, Cheeto Mussolini went ahead and negotiated the deal to get Americans out. Get Americans out of other countries, too, that he was lied to by people within uh, his military. Okay, we can go on forever. Trump is the anti-war candidate. He's not a pacifist, but he was, the, he was a moral imperative to vote for Trump. We have an invasion now that's over a year long under Biden's watch because of Biden's foreign policy. And so 
But again, that's what James O'Keefe is about. He is a populist Republican or a populist conservative. Less like like the populist, it's, it's a moral imperative to vote for a populist Republican in this day and age. Because the people who do enjoy or want or have deceived themselves into thinking it's not happening, never-ending military conflict, are the wonderful morally superior liberal Democrats who force a, a toilet paper run by shutting down the economy and then say, uh, oh, Trump is a totalitarian, as they impose every single one of their, like, they have all, the, the, the road to you nowhere is paved with good intentions. And so what, the Demo- what Democrats do is they will, they will just steamroll anybody in their way because they think it's like a religious pursuit. It's it, anybody who disagrees with them is committing bl- blasphemy, even comedians. So Trump and DeSantis are going after these actual totalitarians. But the thing is, Trump has paid his dues. And so DeSantis hasn't. And there are people who are going to try to court DeSantis. If you've lasted this long, this is purely speculation. It just popped into my mind. I thought that it's pro- it would probably happen. And I like DeSantis. That would probably happen. James O'Keefe would probably have a video that implodes uh, uh, DeSantis's campaign if indeed he tried to go there. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe. Thank you.